In this video, we're going to share with you some of the modifications we made to our RV. And we made these modifications, one, to make the RV a little safer, to make some of the space a little bit more usable, and frankly, to simplify our lives. The first two modifications that we made were, one, to have a backup camera installed on the rig. This was important because as you're backing up, it allows you to see what's behind you, obviously. But it also allows Chris and I to communicate when it comes time for making sure that our lights are working, our signals are working, and it's just been really a nice feature that we added. Another modification that we chose to have done at the dealership was to have a stackable washer dryer installed. This has been a real game changer for my wife especially. She does most of the laundry, so it's really helped to have everything right here in the rig. We don't have to go to a laundromat. Um, it's just the two of us, so our clothing needs are pretty minimal, um, so we're not having to do big loads of laundry all the time. In the following clips, we're going to show you four modifications that we had done that we are extremely happy with. So here we are. I am sitting on the last day of our jackknife fold-out couch. Um, as we go full-timing, we have purchased the desk and some chairs, so we're going to be taking this out today. Okay, so what do we have to do? Well, next I'm going to start um, taking it apart. I'm going to see what this thing, I know there's a couple of L-clamps on the floor, uh, take the cushions off, kind of open it up and get it loose, and then I can see from there uh, what I might be able to take apart and what's going to come out in one piece. And how we're going to get it out the door. That's to be seen. Okay, so here we are outside. As you can see, totally disassembled our sofa. Um, it was pretty easy to get out, actually. It was a little bit easier than I had anticipated. Both Chris and I were able to take it out a couple different pieces. We ended up uh, taking the trifold apart off the frame, made things a little lighter, a little more easy to maneuver. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, we are outside, and this is outside, and our next project will be the shower. So um, if you have any uh, questions about how this came out or need some assistance, feel free to give us a shout. Okay, project number two for the day is the removal of these lovely doors that are, I kind of like them, but they're just not functional. They, they get dirty. Um, you can't so clean between can't clean the really slats, well. like pull, pull it open. Yeah, so the, today, when you, like I said, when you try to clean, the, the slats overlap, and so you can't, and also what's terrible is that grate down there, it's really hard to clean, and also the um, elbow room, when you're in there, it's not yeah. much. So we're going to so put a little extender rod out here so while we're showering we have a little bit more room to work and then we'll see how it works better about that what's the step here that you're doing right now we are Reattaching the screws that we pulled out <clears throat> from the rail system just so that we have some sturdiness. Again, this is kind of putting the shower back against the, the studs on both sides. And so we have these little white end caps. We're siliconing the uh, screw as it goes in, so we've got a good seal behind there. So then we just pop these little things on and wipe. So talk about the silicone removal. We're going to do that. We just said we're going to do that later. Yeah, we'll do that later. Um, we do need to get it off and some things that we've seen, you know, you can use, uh, again, just a razor blade, uh, maybe a hair blower uh, that goes kind of with as we start to pull it down. It makes probably make it a little easier so we're not getting into the, the uh, fiberglass, the gel coat. So as you can see here, we'll just have two more here 
three here, uh, actually four, and I've just tried the side. Uh, I'm probably going to put another screw down here, and then we'll fill these in with kind of a flatter plate. But um, that's kind of where we're at, and the next step will be installing the The new shark rod. <laughs> or shark rod. Yeah, cool. here our kitchen counter is maybe almost six feet long and our sink here takes up a good deal of space so one of the things that we decided to do was to get some extensions made for both sides in addition we had this beautiful stove top cover made uh, these pieces were made by Stephen Bryan of Five Hearts Design out of Waco Texas and the wood that you see here is both walnut and hard maple and again, when we put the extensions on, those are the same pieces of wood that we'll see. So one of the things we're going to do now is just unpack what we had shipped to us. Uh, and again, Stephen Bryan from Five Hearts Design, Waco, Texas, um, great guy to work with. He was very responsive to our needs, um, asked us how we wanted this to be finished. Uh, it took us about seven to ten days to, from start to finish uh, to get these back. And this is what we have. So, so we will have Stephen's information available to you on our comment section. So be sure to look for that. All right, so I'm not a craftsman. I've never done this before. It seems pretty simple. I've got to put a couple brackets on. But i got to obviously make sure that we are level with the top of this counter here. So we're going to have things rolling here and uh, be able to see how this turns out. everything hardware installed here now we're going to basically flip it around get underneath the countertop here and we'll mark our pilot holes for these pieces Oops. Isn't as easy as we thought <laughs> no it is it was easy it's just a matter of making sure we have things centered for the wood that we're drilling into underneath that this was centered with the island we had you know the spacings right I like to have things right um, so it's just a matter of taking our time and here we go. So it's pretty simple. A couple of latches. And down she goes. So now we're doing the other side of the island. It's slightly different. The reason is is that this kind of tapers the island does. Over on that side, we had about 23 and a quarter inches. Over here, we've got uh, 20 and eight. So again, 25 inch board that was made for us. So it's just a matter of setting up bracket slightly different um, just because it's not going to be underneath so that's our challenge right now as you can see we have both of the ends completed again a beautiful top here this took um, maybe about 45 minutes really wasn't as difficult as I thought very simple little catches here drop it down <laughs> raise it back up same thing over here Again, just a quick little pop, but it adds a significant amount of space to our counter that we have to kind of put the inserts back into the kitchen sink to work around. Um, so it certainly has made and will make things much easier to work on. Well, we uh, received our new RV lock keyless entry and um, I'm in the process of putting on the first one, the front door here, and uh, we're gonna kind of see how this goes. What did you have to do to get those locks, like the proper locks? Well, I talked to the techs and we kind of gave them the specs of our rig, told them you know, what we had. <coughs> and uh, even online, they have some really good help in terms of what uh, you should be looking for, uh, the type of locks you currently have and what could be compatible. So we just kind of went off both of those and we'll see how all those comes together. It's actually installed the 
lock on the main door. We ordered uh, locks for our basement doors as well. So I'm kind of getting these out, getting ready to put those together. But one tip to think about is uh, we got a really good deal around Black Friday, about 40% off. Uh, I would suggest going to rvlocks.com and just kind of you get their emails and kind of see when things are going to go on sale. But 40% off is about $100 savings uh, for us for all the lock systems. So it was pretty significant and well worth the wait. Okay, so I've cut around the uh, silicone and I'm just going to pop this out now like that. Grab one of my new RV locks. And then I'll secure it back Secure here. it. And that's a piece of cake. And that's it. Wow. That's how quick it is. So what we have here, uh, finished putting in the RV locks. And what I have in front of us here are the backings to each one of the locks. Um, because of the way that these all matched up, I decided not to pull off the metal ones that were already in the lock box. Um, there's a video out there that shows some guy prying him off the rivets and everything. I just didn't think it was necessary. Everything fit up just fine. Um, so again, we have backings to all these. But interestingly enough, each lock comes with a key. Now these are all keyed the same, um, but every lock has a key. So now we have six locks, seven actually, because of the front door as well. So we have some extra keys. If they're all going to be keyed the same, maybe they should just send a couple uh, instead of one for each lock. That's just a general comment. It's been super easy. I've been out here for maybe uh, 20 minutes putting in six locks, so it's been very easy to do. There are a few other modifications that we made that you might want to set a little bit of money aside for. As an example, in this cupboard here, we had shelves put in, these two here. This is the only shelf in here, so it was just a lot of wasted space. So we asked the service center at Tishomingo to put some shelving in, and we pretty much went around the unit and kind of looked at all the cabinets that we had, and again, had them put in shelving for us. One of the other modifications we did is we had them take out our oven that was located here, and we had them put in a couple of drawers for some pots and pans. Now. This is my job, not Tishomingo's job. I've been kind of playing around with some staining ideas, making sure color was good, so disregard that. But they did a great job taking that out and putting this in. It's, it's helped us a ton. We also upgraded our TV and sound bar. Um, the units that come with the, the rig just aren't the greatest quality, so we upgraded those. Speaking of TVs, we did have a TV in our bedroom um, above some shelves. We actually had them take that TV out and build an armoire. And again, we had that done through the service center to Shemingo, and they did an awesome job on that. Let us know what you've done in your RV that have been a game changer for you. We'd love to hear it. And you can do that in our comments below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. So we will have Steven's information uh, below on our comments page. So we will have Stephen's information on our comments page. Section. And we made these modifications to make the RV safer, make our space that we're utilizing a little simpler. That's a wrap.